Shiryu, you were here? I mean, I am, but... Your presence is so weak, I didn't even notice you. <laughs> <laughs> For a guy with a sharp name like Shiryu Tenoji, you really don't live up to it with your bland looks and shy vibe. Seriously, your name is too cool for you! <laughs> As a freshman, I, Shiryu Tenoji, am ridiculed by the popular Junta Fujiwara and his crew, leading a lonely high school life. Morning, Junta. Oh, morning, Himika! Are you picking on Shiryu again? No way! I was just chatting with him because he looked lonely! Anyway, Himika, got any plans after school today? Morning, Shiryu! Morning. What? Why? Himika just totally ignored me! Thanks for yesterday, you know. I was supposed to be on duty, but you went to the staff room to get the mail for me. That's not it. I just happened to be passing by the staff room when our teacher asked me to deliver it to the person on duty. You're such an honest person, Shiryu. I just told the truth, that's all. Whenever classmate Himika Haibara talks to me, my heart races. It's because she's called the school's Madonna, even as a freshman, with her bright and confident personality. And she's the one I admire. Damn it! Why does Himika always talk so nicely to Shiryu? She treats me completely differently! Junta, man! We can't just let this slide! I gotta make Himika fall for me no matter what! You're gonna help me, right? You got it! That night... I don't get it. Kohaku is so excellent. Why is Shiryu not doing as well? Your brother graduated top of his class from the same high school. Remember, you're a son of the Tenoji family, so live your high school life with that awareness. Yes. But Shiryu is always in the top ten, isn't he? I think that's quite excellent. Kohaku is just exceptionally good. You're too soft for a businessman. Even in an era of diversification, a son of the Tenoji family should have the ability to lead others. Otherwise, it's a disgrace to our ancestors. That's enough, Shiryu. Go study in your room now. Yes. Don't worry about what Mom says, Shiryu. Getting into the top ten at our school means you're doing great. You're working hard enough. Thanks, Kawaku. But it can't be helped. With Dad being a businessman and Mom a doctor, and you're attending one of the top universities in Japan and are flawless in looks and personality, our family is full of elites, so it's natural they expect a lot from me. I know plenty of good things about you, so don't worry. Good things? Like what? I don't have any. Man, Shiryu, you're too hard on yourself. You've got lots of good points. You're calm, observant, sensitive, and kind, because mom is too strict. Plus, you might not care about fashion and seem indifferent, but you're actually handsome, you know? That's not true. You're just undervaluing yourself. Maybe you should pay a bit more attention to how you look. I'll try to manage. Kohaku is so kind, always on my side. He's good at everything, and also has a great personality. There's no one quite like him. But here I am, can't do anything right, and got a twisted personality. Sometimes, I think his kindness is just pity, or he's looking down on me. I hate feeling this way. A week later. Today's the day of our high school cultural festival. I was assigned to be at the reception for alumni and invited middle school students, so I was in a tent near the school gate. Hey, Shiryu! I'm supposed to be on reception duty too, but unlike you, I've got a ton of places I want to be, so you handle this on your own, okay? You don't have friends to hang out with at the festival anyway, right? Yeah, got it. Good! You're so obedient! Honestly, I'm more at ease alone. For a loner and introvert like me, the cultural festival feels like a nightmare. I heard there's even a dance party at the after party. Glamorous events aren't really my thing. Wandering around booths or checking out other classes' presentations would just make me feel miserable being all by myself. Better off alone here. Here, take these. Eh? You can't just work during the cultural festival, Shiryu. You have to enjoy it too. Due to dump the reception duty on you, right? It's not like that, but let me pay for these. How much were they? Don't worry about it. I bought these because I wanted to share them with you. I can't just accept them without paying. 
I bought them thinking we could eat together. Eat? Together with me? Yeah, I'll help you out with the reception duty for a little while. It's not that busy that I need help. Don't you want to go around the booths with your friends? I will go with my friends, but I have some free time until then. Luckily, being on reception duty Saturday morning is pretty much just for show. Hardly anyone, neither alumni nor invited middle school students, shows up this early. But being alone at the reception with Himika is kind of nerve-wracking. This crepe is delicious, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Make sure you eat some takoyaki, too. Yeah. Hey, did you know this isn't the first time we've met since starting high school? Eh? I figured you wouldn't remember. It's okay, though. When and where did we meet? I'll tell you about it next time. I've got to go meet my friends now. Oh, uh, okay. Got it. Well, I'm off then. It was nice talking to you, even if it was just for a little while. Yeah, me too. Thanks for the snacks. Shiryu's really living his youth, isn't he? Thanks to Himika, I actually enjoyed this school event for a moment. With the daytime events over, the after-party dance is getting closer. You're truly a princess, just like your name. Too cute! You're exaggerating. Himika's dress look is just unreal! Like a goddess! Hey, make sure you work it out so I can dance with Himika, okay? Got it! Himika looks so beautiful. There's no way I could fit in with these extroverted folks' social scene. Just watching from a distance is enough for me. Shiryu! What? Kohaku, what are you doing here? I missed high school festivals and decided to come check it out after a long time. It's about time for my ride to show up. Is that girl you've been watching this whole time your type, Shiryu? That's none of your business, Kawaku. And thanks for the ride. I'll head to the car now. Nope, that won't do. Let the driver wait. We've got another 30 minutes to enjoy the after party. The Tanoji family is too overprotective anyway. Our curfew is ridiculously early just because they're worried about what people will think. If mom says anything, just tell her I made you stay. Huh? Kohaku? What's with that bag? I brought some clothes and accessories I picked out for you. Let's change in the bathroom. Huh? I'm going to give you some confidence. You want to dance with her, don't you? I'm not thinking that at all. It's not like me. Nothing's going to change anyway. You really have low self-esteem, Shiryu. Let's show everyone how cool you really are. Just follow my lead. Kohaku was so persistent that I reluctantly followed him to the bathroom. Fifteen minutes later. Wow! That guy is so cool! He's like a prince. Did our school always have someone that cool? Are they talking about me? Hard to believe, but it seems like the girls are looking at me. Looks like Ohaku's styling got some positive reviews. T who was that guy? He looks so cool. Have we had someone like that in freshman year? Or is he a senior? Even I can't tell. Is he really from our school? Maybe a model or something snuck in here? Useless as always. I'll go check it out myself. Hey there. Are you a student here? Looking sharp, man. That jacket and pendant are really cool. What brand are they? Uh, you're giving me too much credit. The jacket and pendant aren't even mine. It... You... Don't tell me, Shiryu! That introverted voice. Yeah, that's me. For real? Clothes and styling really do make a huge difference. I'm not wearing makeup, though. Hey, what class are you in? Uh... What do I do? Himika's talking to me. But Kohaku went through all this effort for me. I've got to muster up some courage. That's a nice pendant. Um, it's me and... Huh? Himika, this guy's actually my relative, but he's not a student here. What? Is that so? He's got something to do, so he has to leave now. That's too bad. I haven't seen him around before and wanted to chat. Come on, this way, relative. Wait a sec. Junta probably didn't like me getting all the attention from the girls. I had no choice but to leave. Did you enjoy yourself? 
Well, kinda. That's good. Let's head back. The driver's been waiting a while. Yeah. If Junta hadn't interfered, could I have danced with Himika? <sighs> oh, he's gone. His voice sounded like Shiryu's, but... No way! Huh? Isn't this the pendant that guy was wearing? A few days later, after the festival ended and the makeup holiday was over, we students returned to our usual routine. I got a moment of cheers during the after party, yet it felt like a dream, and now I'm back to my introverted life as usual. If nothing changes, it'll stay the same. Kohaku gave me a chance. Am I really going to do nothing about it? Hmm, not you, huh? Mm. I guess he really was Junta's relative, and not from the school, huh? Huh? That pendant? That's the one I was wearing! I accidentally lost it, and Kohaku seemed not to worry, but I should return it. Himika, that is actually... Oh, Himika found my pendant, huh? That saves me! Thanks! Uh... That's not right, is it? This pendant was worn by Junta's relative, right? So it can't possibly be yours. Why have you been trying to interrupt my conversation with him all this time? That's a misunderstanding. Why would I interrupt? I just misspoke when I said it was mine. It's my relative's pendant. I'll take it to him. I'll give it to him directly. Give me his contact. He left for a study abroad program overseas last night, so he won't be back for a while. Forget it. Next, I'll check with you, Shiryu, okay? Uh, yeah. It was you! You were the prince-like guy, Shiryu! What? I knew it was your voice, but you disappeared so quickly, and when I chased after, I found this pendant. Shiryu, you were my prince back then, and still are now. Back then? Yes, I was worried when you suddenly stopped coming to the volunteer activities. Your dad was really into volunteering, wasn't he? Yeah, but... I wanted to see you for so long! N wait Yeah, my dad used to take me to volunteer activities since I was little, but I got more concerned about my grades over time and ended up staying home to study. I haven't participated in any volunteer activities for years. I wonder if I'm really the person you were looking for. It's you! When I heard the name Shiryu at the high school entrance ceremony, I thought I finally found you. My dad was also passionate about volunteering, and I was often taken to cleanup activities. That's where I met you, Shiryu. There were so many bugs in nature, and I hated bugs, so I often cried and had you remove them for me. You always said, bugs are trying their best to live, so don't hate them. So that girl was you, Himika? I didn't realize. I was chubbier back then. You were kind even back then, and I've always liked you. I was looking forward to meeting you again, but then we lost touch, and I finally met you in high school. But when we met, you seemed a bit different from back then, so it took me a while to work up the courage to talk to you. I watched you, wondering if you were the same Shiryu, and recently, I became certain you're the same person. Shiryu, I still like you now. Hold on a second! Huh? Himika, you're mistaken! There's no way someone like this introvert could be with you! Shiryu is just mediocre and doesn't live up to his name! He's not the right guy for you! I mean, someone cool who stands out in class and does well in school, like me! 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 Can you not interrupt when I'm making a public confession? I hate guys who are mean like you. What? Even if you were the last man on Earth, I wouldn't date you. I'd rather date a bug. Your standing out in class is just for being notorious. If you say anything bad about Shiryu again, I'll never forgive you. Uh, I'm trying my best to live too. Don't hate me. Seriously. This must be what they call overkill. Himika's confidence just made me admire her even more. Hey, I still haven't heard your answer, you know. Are you sure about me? I hate myself, so I feel like it wouldn't be fair for you to be together. Why do you hate yourself? 
I have a brother who's perfect in every way. I've been compared to him by your parents all my life. I'm just not good enough, so I hate myself. I might not know how excellent your brother is, but you're definitely above average in the grand scheme of things. Huh? If I say you're good enough, isn't that all that matters? Even if you've been hurt by comparisons, from now on, you can complain to me as much as you need. I'll always be on your side, cheer you. So be more confident and stand tall. Yeah, I really love you. That's more like it. That night, I finally expressed my gratitude to Kohaku. He seemed to know something and just smiled. One year later... You're surprisingly a good dancer. I've been practicing a lot. I wanted to dance confidently with you. I'm so happy. Having someone in front of me who accepts and loves all of me has given me a bit of confidence in myself. If someone tries to take Himika away again, this time I'll protect her with my own strength.